What is going on YouTube? One on the extra, I'm here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. We are testing a 2021 Ducati V4 because I want to see the difference between the 2018, which is what my speciality was, what this new 2021 is like. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and then hit that little bell for notifications when I do upload. We've been a little sporadic, but we're definitely trying to get a little more on schedule. Oh, we got this beautiful 2021 Ducati V4. Look at the winglets on it, the fairings are bigger. We're gonna take this for a ride, see what she feels like, because it is different from the 2018 Speciality that I have. So yeah, let's take this thing for a spin. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, that hill. Oh, that hill is nice. <laughs> oh, man. It's so intoxicating. Okay, let's settle down a little bit here. Now, 2021 absolutely feels different than what my 2018 did. You think it's like a three-year difference, but man, does that make a huge difference between the two between the two years there. The quick shifter feels much more smooth, much easier to use, much more compliant. It just wants to lean over. And I remember a lot of the reviews I read talked about how much easier this bike felt to ride. I would have to agree. The first gear is so usable. It's actually very surprising. Uh, let's open up a little bit. God, this, it's ferocious. I love it. It's somehow more refined. I'm kind of impressed at how Ducati made this bike more user-friendly, if you will. This bike feels amazing. Like, it doesn't feel that far off from what is in front of me. <laughs> Not the rocks. All right, let's get back to the house and let's talk about it a little bit more. So I just got off this beautiful 2021 Ducati V4 and <laughs> It's good. You know, I wanted to see the differences specifically on how the throttle felt and how the shifter worked and kind of see if there's any difference to the engine characteristics from the 2018 to the 2021. So let's start with the throttle. The 2018, my speciality, it had that slack in there. There was a quarter turn where it didn't do anything and then it would pick up. And yeah, you could get Ducati spacers and that would fix the problem. But you know, from a bike that's 40 grand, probably one of the big glaring downsides of that bike. The 2021 has absolutely addressed that issue. We're in first gear. I was actually going up the road in a twisty section and rolling on first gear and it was super compliant. I was very, very impressed with how the throttle felt for the new 2021 before. The previous reviews that I've watched of this 2021 Ducati before is how easy it is to ride. They mentioned how tame it feels and I would have to concur with that. It feels like my Aprilia, the Aprilia is much more refined feeling. It doesn't have that crazy animal rip your hands off, like no to it, but this thing is still fast. It's still a monster. It still has some of that Italian characteristics in it, but it it's definitely more subdued and I like it. And I'm kind of sad at the same time. Obviously with the new 2021, the body style, the fairings are definitely a lot different. And uh, most notably the wings. But for me, the thing that I noticed the most, obviously these fin, these fairings were wider, but what these fairings now do is push the air into your knees. So all this warm air from the motor, from this section here, from the gills here, goes onto your knees and the heat that comes from the motor from these new fairings is so noticeable. I rode my 2018 Speciality back to back to this a few weeks ago, and I could tell the difference between the heat in this section now, the other thing that people will say about the heat is this section here. If you get the Acra aftermarket exhaust, this actually comes down a little bit differently and it doesn't quite burn your calf the same way that the stock exhaust does. So you can upgrade it and it'll kind of not completely get rid of the heat, but it'll help with the heat. So obviously with any bike, I have to talk about the brakes and these Brembos are super strong. I got a very good initial bite. And actually they're a little more aggressive than you might think for a bike that's a base model but they're fantastic. You know, again, I mentioned it's the base model, so it doesn't have the only suspension. And for this bike, it's not really that much of a downside. Yes, there's more tunability. Yes, there's a little better feel with the Olean's. These Showa's, 
They're great. We went over a, a few bumpy spots, soaked them up just fine. I tell you what, the ride quality for the base model, superb. All right, as we talk about the comfortability, we have to go to the seat because the 2021 Ducati V4 seat is super soft, very comfortable to sit on, and it's got some little texture to it. When you sit there, you feel locked in, but you can still move around. It's very nice, pretty spacious. As we move up to the handlebars, the reach is very nice. It's not too far, not too long. As you see, at six foot, it's an easy drop. I'm not super hunched over and I'm not over my hands like this. Like the Prilly is much more compact and you feel like you're kind of like this. You got a great reach, nice flex in the arm. As you can see, the elbow to knee ratio is almost perfect for me. I can get down and actually be comfortable. Again, with the Aprilia, I'm like this. I've actually done this before on the Aprilia. So the new V4, actually pretty much all the Panigales have always had that leg room, but the 2021 seems to be just a little bit better and a little nicer to sit on. It's so great to see where the Panigales have come from and where they're going because the 1199 to the 1299 was a good upgrade. And the 1299 to the V4, it was another refined upgrade. You're actually like, man, this is a comfortable Panigale. It seems streetable, like six gear cruising around town, no problem. And now we go to the 2021, the throttle slack's gone. It's super responsive, but not in a twitchy manner. It's, it's very easy to ride now. And you start to wonder, is there that line where you stop feeling like a Ducati and start feeling like an inline four? And we're getting close. It still feels like a Ducati, still got its quirks, it's still got a little edge to it, but that edge is starting to get a little roundness to it. It's making it almost to where it's as refined as what the Aprilias are. So let's get into the dash a little bit. There's only two things I'm gonna go over real quick, and those are the riding modes, because the new models have race a and race b now before they didn't have race a and race b it was just race but race b is everything's on 100 percent with the exception of your throttle response it is set to smooth so when you roll on it yes you're getting full power but it's coming on a lot almost linearly it's really nice when you go to race a everything wakes up more there's definitely more pep in that throttle it's more i don't say twitchy but it's more responsive when you twist the throttle, it just, nah, it just picks up the motors off. It's fantastic. Again, I can't stress this enough. It is not twitchy to me. I think it feels fantastic and smooth, and it responds as you hit it. The 2018 had that gap in there. It was with a quarter inch of throttle, and nothing happened. Then all of a sudden, first gear, you're, you're taking off. I actually went up the mountain, or I actually went up the road here in first gear, and it was nice. I was going through some turns in first gear, which... I almost never do on the 2018 because you just, you didn't know when it was gonna pick up or when it was gonna lull down on you. Fantastic, love the upgrade. So if y'all are looking to get into a Ducati and you love the V4, but are hesitant because of Panigale's past reputation, like I said, the 1199 was a very harsh bike to deal with. It had a lot of weird quirks about it. The 1299 was a little bit better, but it was still very raw, very harsh. Around town, it was hard to ride. You always had to be shifting gears. The 2018, the V4 Special that I had, much more refined. The quick shifter worked a little bit better, but it still had that throttle issue. And now we're in the 2021s, the throttle issue's gone. You can definitely cruise around town. It's so much more usable. That's what blows my mind about this, is the daily rider ability of this motorcycle has actually gone up to where the BMWs are, with the exception of the heat. I will say that despite that being hot, we knew that was gonna be there. This is the bigger surprise. The new fairings, unfortunately, lend to the heat being blown on your legs. But this 2021 Ducati V4, especially the base model, if y'all are looking at them, I, I implore you to try the new 2021s because they, they're just easier to ride. And for me, having ridden the past ones, it's starting to get to where I'm, I'm almost not liking it, but if you're new to it, it's going to feel so good and you're gonna feel so special riding it. So with that, I can't thank Mike enough for allowing me to ride his baby around. Had a blast, it was a little humid, but I tell you what, what a fun time. Hope you all have a good weekend. Hope you have a good week. With that, I'm out. Let it up.